Hi Leos, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm gonna pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. These are going to be things that you might wanna hear, things you might not wanna hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in so the person on leo's mind show me what they're hiding from leo Oh, they're like digging their heels in. Okay, so three of swords, six of pentacles, and then the knight of pentacles that comes out. The knight of pentacles comes out in a 50-50 energy. So be careful of this person. They're heartbroken. They want to make things right between the two of you, but the way that they're wanting to do it with this knight of pentacles like this, I, they're not entirely loyal. So they're a bit of a con artist. It's like, how can I convince Leo that I want them back or I want to fix things? The Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you dealt with relationship drama from this person or they constantly just would pick at you um, and be like, you can handle it, you know, don't be such a baby because I said this, but it's just like they would pick at things about you, your hair, the way you dressed, you know, the way you sneeze, cough, laugh, whatever. It's like things that they would pick at. You're like, what the heck? Why are you doing that? But this person is heartbroken, wanting to fix things, wanting things to be fair between the two of you, um, wanting to make them fair, offer you some kind of gift here. And that gift is not completely genuine. It's like, there's not, a, they're not fully loyal here. Um, they're so procrastinating. Like they are really, they're like, I'm moving a little bit. I'm going to wait today. I want to do, I'm going to wait. You know, it's just like, they're procrastinating until all of a sudden they come rushing in like, Oh, I need to talk to you, Leo. So let's go ahead and clarify this three of swords and relationship drama. I feel like they're a little bit of a con artist. Like I'm not going to do that. It's not going to happen. So the queen of swords comes out heartbroken, not putting up with any BS. Like they're mad. Um, yeah, they want to make things right, but yet they're mad. So this person is upset, you know, feeling this pain. The queen of swords, their heart is not open. You can't win them over easily here. Um, the four of swords, they have like almost nothing to say. I get a coldness from this person, just very short. Because of their pain, they have a sharp tongue and there's some things that they're choosing not to tell you, um, that they hold back from telling you. It's like they, it would come out really, really wrong and they already have a sharp tongue. So for them to do it even more, it's like, wow, you really feel that way, okay. So, and also heartbroken, wanting to talk like, no, we need to talk about this as well um, because you two are on a break or there's a break in communication. There's things that they want to talk about, but their heart is not open um, fully. It's like they want you to come to them, talk to them and, and um, explain, you know, things to them because they're feeling it's like they want to heal things. They want to they want to be at peace and rest, but they're also feeling like I don't know if I can be open. I don't know if I trust Lee. I don't know. So, let's go ahead and clarify the 6 of pentacles. Whoa, so they want to make things right with you. They want to offer you some kind of gift, but then they get stuck in their mind, and it is an an apology. So they want to offer you an apology, but why are they saying, Leo, if you show up, you know, you better show up and tell me the truth. Uh, Cause they're, I mean, maybe you two had an argument, disagreement, whatever things just, you broke up, had a, or had a break, been on a break of talking 
and it's because of how things went down between the two of you but they're like i want to make things fair but feeling stuck with actually you know sharing their feelings opening up apologizing telling you you know that they want to make this right okay so let's go ahead and clarify this knight of pentacles here because that one i'm like mm -hmm, i want to see what this is about the Ten of Wands and then the Six of Swords. So they're going to like if they approach you and they, you know, if they do, if they come to you and they're like, Leo, I'm sorry. Can we work on this? Whatever. Be prepared. This person is a bit of a con artist. They're holding back. OK, here's the thing. So they're procrastinating on, you know, moving forward to give you this apology or anything or move on from where you two are in like the rough of these waters right of the emotions and everything um they're not they're procrastinating because they're holding on to the hurt the pain and everything um they're also if they tell you like yes we can make this work or i want to make this work like i said they're a bit of a con artist because they are still carrying around this heaviness of what happened um, and they're moving it forward. It does appear like they're taking this pain forward in the situation between the two of you. So just be careful. Like I, I'm personally, me personally as a Leo, I don't go backwards. <laughs> There's a reason an X is an X for a reason, but I get like a separation here. You two just not talking right now, coming back to fix things. That's different. I understand. I do that too. It's like, let's fix this. But just there's something about you can't fully trust this person. Their loyalty is going to be difficult. Like, can I trust Leo? Can Leo trust me? Like the loyalty, like, yeah, I'm going to make this right. Um, it's difficult for them to be loyal or stay loyal or something like that. They procrastinate too long until it becomes like a heavy weight for this person. Oh, yeah, there was some relationship drama. So let's go ahead and get some messages um, from this person. So what are they holding back from telling Leo? What is this person holding back from telling Leo? Ooh, okay, so they have a difficult time with their emotions, their feelings, and like I said, they hold on to things. Here's the thing, Leo. Maybe one day we can be together. This is something like they think about, like, maybe we can fix this, you know? Maybe we can talk things out. I want to know why things happen between us, Leo. I want to know why this, that, and the other. Feeling this pain and wanting to, to talk about things, but their heart is still broken and feeling that way. The why go back to it if you're like why try and mend it and 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 recreate it if you're feeling so hurt by it and the reason i'm saying that is once i get through these messages you'll understand love is a battlefield this is something for this person like i told you it's hard for them to open up and share their feelings that came out right underneath that eight of swords right there which remember there was also the page of cups with that eight of swords so they are stuck in their mind about how they'll apologize or share their feelings or like they just can't get it out love is a battlefield for this person it's like it's difficult for them to even say i'm sorry i don't know that they've ever said they're sorry but to anyone i don't know i'm just saying like it's very difficult for this person to open up and just say i'm sorry for what i did you know yes they have an apology for you but they're stuck with that apology of like i don't know how i'm gonna tell leo so i know the truth this is something that they're carrying around now leo they could feel that you broke your loyalty to them and that's something of a heaviness that they've been carrying around like they know the truth also whatever it was that happened between the two of you and you might have told them one thing they're like no i know um and they have some kind of proof of it so there's also, I know the truth. I know what I want. I know this and that. Um, but here's the thing. If you end up taking this person back, I don't want you anymore. It's like they'll go through this entire thing. Like maybe we can be together one day. If it, if it does happen and it's a battlefield for them. And then if they come to you and they're like, I want to work this out. They still know the truth of whatever the situation is in the past. Yeah, okay, great they're not letting it go 
they're carrying that weight around um, with them, which is creating this, I don't want you anymore because I just can't let go of what happened between the two of us. But see, look at this. You loved me when no one else did. I feel like at times this person can be really difficult um, in their you know, personal relationships, uh, business relationships. They, you know, it's, it's a battlefield for them to sustain and hold on to certain relationships. Um, because they're like, why did this, you know, this, that, and the other happen confrontational a little bit. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you two would butt heads a little bit here, but just know Leo, you know, they're hiding this pain. They do want to fix things. It might come back around just so you know, right now they're holding back and they're, they're carrying this heavy weight. Like I said, with that knight of swords where they just rush in, um, it's like, they want to tell you like, I know this, that, and the other. And then if you choose try and make things work, it'll quickly turn into, I don't know why I'm in this. I don't know. I don't want Leo anymore. I like I'm done. I just don't want this. So, um, you know, there's no reason to go back. That's why I kept saying, like, don't go back to the past, <laughs> you know, um, move forward here. But just know that this person will probably reach out to you to maybe just reconcile their differences. It doesn't mean you two have to get back together or, you know, have any kind of relationship. It's just like they feel they need to say what they need to say. Um, if they tell you, like, well, I want to make this work. Mm, be careful <laughs> like I said so this is what I have for you if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button I will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye